Hello everyone, Ben here with another solo game of Viticulture. So this is going to be uh, campaign challenge number two. So the rules for this one, basically you get two normal workers and El Grande as per uh, your Mama and Papa cards. However, these three workers are the only ones you're going to get for the whole game. So you cannot recruit or train or gain use of any other workers uh, through any other means. It's just those three, basically. Uh, apart from the neutral worker is the exception, and you can get him with your normal uh, wake-up action. When it comes to uh, action spaces, so normally you play uh, as if it was a two-player game in the leftmost spot. Well, for challenge two, you get to play in the middle spot, and you get the bonus action inherent in uh, the particular spot you play in. Uh, however, you don't get access to uh, bonus tokens. So these ones are simply here to keep track of uh, which rounds you've done and the particular wake-up actions, and then once they've been moved off, they just stay there and are of no further use. So then we've also got uh, three visitor cards, as per the member card, and then a total of six money uh, as per the Papa card, because we have three here, and then this one would be another worker, or three money, and obviously we had to go for the three money. Otherwise I probably would have gone for the extra worker. Ah, excuse me. Uh, right, so we need to pick a wake-up action space. Probably... I think the Vineyard card, probably, simply because we don't have it at the moment, so it might be a good idea to see what we can actually try and plant out. That is a level 2 red, and it's going to be... Right, so we need the Trellis to build that. Well, fine, okay. Uh, let's see what the AI is going to do. So it is going to plant. Right. Uh, basically, then probably some more vineyard cards so we'll get two as per the bonus and we can see we have another one here which requires a trellis so yeah we'll definitely try and build a trellis probably uh, the one that requires the irrigation tower well I'm not fussed about that just yet so yeah definitely the trellis so we may as well get that built now uh, so trellis uh, costs two, and then we get one coin back from the bonus action. So that means it's just basically a cost of one. And we get the trellis out. I can't see anything else. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything else we want to do for summer. So we've broke our money, so we're probably not going to give a tour. We've already built, we've already drawn cards. We could plant a vineyard card but that would be a bit of a waste because we only get to plant one and we wouldn't get to harvest it anyway so yeah so yeah we'll pass now and we'll go into uh, fall so we get probably a winter visitor so basically a summer or winter one our choice and uh, no okay so I was hoping for another one that we could play along with the scholar to make best use of the space. But the supervisor allows us to make up to two wines and we have no grapes available. So yeah, that's no good at the moment. Okay, and then the AI is going to, what's he gonna do, draw, train, fill, right, okay. So draw cards, train workers, fill orders. Well, we definitely gonna, weren't going to use those two, so that's fine. Uh, we could have we could have drawn some wine order cards, actually. So we could still use El Grande to come along and draw some wine orders. Uh, we'd only get one, though, because we wouldn't get the bonus of the space. Uh, instead, we could play... So we could play the Scholar which would allow us to get two wine orders. Uh, we can't do the extra bit of paying three money to train because we can't get uh, another worker. So we'd only get two wine orders. 
Uh, there isn't a whole lot else to do really in winter at the moment, so sure, we'll use our El Grande. We won't go into the draw wide orders because we only get one. We will play our Winter Visitor, so it's still a bit of a waste because we don't get to play two, or we do get to play two, but this one is uh, of no use at the moment. So we'll just play the Scholar and we'll still get to draw two wine orders anyway, so it's not too bad. And we have, oh dear, right, a couple of sparklings. So these are going to be a while off in getting fulfilled. Uh, right, not the best of draws there, but never mind. Uh, right, that's year end, so we have no grapes to age, we have no wine to age. We do get to retrieve workers, as does the AI. Okay, still dropping it, never mind, there we go. Uh, we don't get any residual payments. Uh, we have eight cards, so we need to get rid of one of them, basically. Uh, maybe one of the sparkling orders we just drew. Uh, yeah, probably... Yeah, probably this one. I think trying to get both of them done is a bit of a long shot at best anyway. So we'll get rid of this one and hopefully we might be able to draw some more later on which will be of better use to us. So that one's out. That brings us down to seven. And uh, right, that's it. So we need to figure out what our next wake up action is. Uh, well, seeing as we, we could get another wine order now, seeing as we just got rid of one, or we could get some more uh, visitor cards. I'm not fussed about money or points or uh, the extra worker just yet. So. A visitor card, maybe? I'll uh, get a summer visitor card, and maybe we could play two summer visitors now and get a better deal out of those. Uh, what have we got here? The wholesale buyer, if you used it all right, okay. Yeah, that one's probably not going to get played anytime soon. Uh, yes, I don't think so. Alright, so we'll leave that for the moment, which means the AI needs to. Build a structure. Fine. Well, we're definitely going to plant vineyard cards now. So we have the trellis. We have the required vineyard cards. So let's take those and... Uh, so that's four in total. May as well put them in the largest field we have. So basically, each field has a set amount of space. So you've got a five, a six, and a seven. And these two cards are taking up four uh, spaces of that seven. So it's still got three spaces left, which is fine. If we decide to plant something else in there later on, maybe. Which means... Uh, so we need to save one guy to harvest. Excuse me a second. Uh, right, so we need to save one guy to harvest this particular field, which is fine. And... Uh, what else then? This guy to... draw some more vineyard cards, maybe? Draw some more wine order cards, probably. So, yeah, we'll harvest a field with this guy, and then this guy can draw some more wine, uh, wine order cards, or either way around, basically. So we're going to pass now and go into fall and grab ourselves... Uh, grab ourselves a winter visitor just in case we get better use out of it. Pay seven money to gain a level four blush. Right, that's never going to happen. Or at least not yet anyway. So that's fine. The AI is going to... Harvest a field, uh, right, pay to train, okay. So it did block off one of the spaces we needed. So that will basically be our grande worker there then. Uh, we can draw another couple of wine orders with this one though, so that's fine. Which is pretty much what we're going to do. So wine order cards. 
Uh, okay, that's a bit better anyway. So that red and white we could probably do quite easily. Uh, well, reasonably easily anyway. And then a couple of reds. Uh, we do have them below we could plant out, but that's going to be requiring the irrigation tower. Uh, right, okay. And then El Grande is going to come along and harvest a field. So, not two fields unfortunately, but we only have one we want to harvest anyway, so that's fine. We get to get two grapes that start aging quite nicely. Alright, and that is end of year, so grapes age straight away, excellent. These guys all come back. As does the AI. We don't get any payments. Uh, we are over the hand limit of seven by a couple of cards. Uh, right. Well, I'm probably going to get rid of this extra sparkler now, simply because these two are, well, maybe keep the sparkling. So we're going to get this one filled, which is a five and a three, or a red and a white anyway. So we have red and white here. Now to make sparkling you need two two reds and a white. So basically this is two reds and a white and another white. So this one is an equal amount of grapes as well. So we could probably do that one. This one is two reds which we're going to have if we keep harvesting the same field basically we have an, uh, we're going to need an uneven number of reds. Uh, from that field so we'll probably get rid of this card for the time being and that will leave us with eight so one more uh, well I said the wholesale buyer was probably never going to get used simply because it would be very efficient to play our last worker uh, and then not do anything else in winter so yeah we'll get rid of those two cards uh, that was a wide order and that will bring us down to seven I'm ready to try and start getting rid of these uh, these visitor cards, maybe. Right. So, new turn, and we need to maybe get uh, another wine order then. So, that will be our wake up action, and we have uh, two whites now. So, I just got rid of the card which wanted two reds, and now I have one which wants two whites. Okay, I'm not making the best uh, the best play with these cards, quite possibly. Never mind. So the AI is going to build a structure, sell, and play some of the cards. Fine. So structure, uh, sell, and play some visitors. Well, I wasn't going to play any some visitors anyway. I don't think so. That's fine. So we've got three guys. Uh, we definitely want to harvest again. I think basically harvesting every year is pretty much mandatory now. So we're going to save one guy to harvest with. Uh, these are not quite... No, they need to age a bit more before they're ready to uh, make into wine. So we won't be making up wine orders. That's fine. Could draw some more wine orders. Oh dear. Uh, probably we'll spend one guy now to draw some more vineyard cards, I think. So if we put him there and we get two more uh, vineyard cards, can we plant these easily enough? Uh, right. Well, technically, yes. So we could build the irrigation tower, and then we could get out these two uh, level threes uh, into our space six field, probably. That's a lot of cash, though. Uh, I still want. I'm still going to need money to build the medium cellar as well. So it is doable. Okay. Well, let's 
So we did still need one to harvest though, didn't we? Although if we're going to get these out, that's going to be one step up on the aging process anyway. Okay, so El Grande will come along and build a structure, so we won't get the benefit unfortunately, which is going to be a money saver, so we will still have to spend the full price, which is three. And we will now build our irrigation tower. And then if we plant with our final worker, the two vineyard cards we just picked, so we plant both of those out, that will get both of these out in our size six, whoops, size six field. So that leaves us with two fields now that we can harvest each round, starting from next round. Uh, yes, so I think, well, we're going to pass now anyway, so we run out of workers, so we basically have to pass. And we're going to grab, we'll go over a summer visitor this time. Had enough of useless winter ones. Grape juice drinker, gain money where money is your... Okay, so basically that's going to give us a bit of cash. Uh, right. Yeah, I like the look of that one, that's definitely a benefit. Uh, we have no more visitors or workers to do in winter, so that's fine, we're done with that. We will age these guys, so they've got one more step. And we get everyone back. Like so. Uh, we are definitely over seven again, we're not managing our hand very well at all. Uh, that one is probably, we could, we could plant it, we have technically all the buildings required to plant it but it would, could only go in that field there. So that's the only field that allows us to plant it now because the other ones are basically too full up. And I don't ever see us spending actions to harvest this field solely. So we'll get rid of that one. And that puts us at eight, so we need to get rid of one more. Uh, probably the blush wine drinker, or blush wine dealer, sorry because that's money we don't have to gain wines that we don't need. So yeah, we'll basically get rid of that too. Uh, and that brings us back down to seven. Yep, that's fine. So now we need to... Well, if we're going to use the grape juice drinker to get a lot of cash, because we do need more money, then if we come down to wake up space number seven that will give us not only the neutral worker which is very handy because we could use some more workforce at the moment but when we play the uh, when we play the summer visitor then we will get seven money because we're in wake up spot number seven seven so that's fine uh, yep okay that's pretty good which means that the AI is going to Give it to her. Okay, that's fine by me. So we have four guys to, to work with basically. We want to definitely harvest because we now have an abundance of fields to harvest. And we're going to need to start making up some wines, I think. So make up the two wine tokens, which means we need sellers to put them in. So Build a structure and then play the summer visitors. I think that's the way it would work out. So if we... No, that's not right at all. Oh dear. Uh, yes, that doesn't quite work. Well... Play the summer visitors first, then. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's going to have to be that one and still the wine supplier. So basically, I had the brilliant idea of uh, building a structure, which would be the medium seller, uh, and then playing the two summer visitors. Uh, one would be the great two stickers to get a bunch of cash, and then the other one would be spending that cash to upgrade our medium seller to the large seller. 
unfortunately, to build a medium cylinder in the first place, you need four money. Uh, even with the coin back, you would still need four money first, and then you get the coin back. Uh, I only have two, so I am too short, basically. So uh, we'll probably have to do it the other, way, the other way around then. So we'll play the two summer visitors. First one will be uh, Grape Juice Drinker. So we'll gain X money where X is your current wake-up position. Well, that's seven, so we get seven cash, which is nothing to sneeze at. All right, and then the second one, because we're doing the bonus, would be to play the wine supplier. And that allows us to upgrade our cellar or get some wines. Well, we don't want to do that at the moment. We'll just uh, pay three to upgrade. So it's not as much as if we'd done it the other way around, because we're still going to have to build the large wine cellar for six. But we will get to build the medium cellar for three. Uh, so that back, and we'll get four change. Uh, no, sorry, two change. Which will give us just enough to come along and build the large cellar uh, afterwards. And that is the medium cellar. Yep, I think that's the medium cellar there. So that's that built, that's fine. And that was... Uh, oh, and now we could build one structure now. So we played the two winter visitors, uh, summer visitors, and we've done their various actions. So now we could build a structure. So now we'll build the large cellar, and it's going to cost six money. And then we get one back. So we'd have to spend the six first, and then we get the coin back for the bonus action. And that would be everything in summer. So now if we pass and grab ourselves... Uh, well, let's go for another Winter Visitor card then. If we get lucky, maybe. Draw a Vineyard card and play a Summer Visitor. Alright, not the worst card in the world, probably. Uh, and now we're into Winter. The AI needs to pay to train. Well, that's fine. It can do that all day long, as far as I'm concerned. And we need to definitely Harvest. So if we harvest two fields with the bonus action, so that's basically both of these, and we get a whole bunch of grapes out. So we need level two red, level two white, and level three red, and level three white. Good. Uh, and then we could... Uh, well, technically we could uh, make up some wine now. So yeah, let's go and make up the two wine tokens. Uh, make up the three wine tokens, sorry. Even better. So if we... Now we have basically everything in our cellars. We can do these two. That's a bit of a waste, actually. What, are, what can we do instead? So that's going to be the level 4 red, which is going to be a level 5 by next year, which will allow us to fill a wine order. That will be the level 3 white by next year, so that will definitely get this one done. Which means that was 2, and we need a third one, so if we do those two to make up a third, which would be the sparkling. Nope, sparkling has to be seven at least. Uh, is it worth making up the sparkling first then? All right, let's put these back and have another quick shuffle around. So the sparkling needs to be a level four red. I oh, know it's three wines, isn't it? Three grapes, sorry. All right, well in that case then, sparkling would be five and then two so two reds make up to five and then the two for the white which is seven in total so that would make the level seven sparkling that takes off all of those uh, and then we have 
this level three white, which would go there, that's fine. And that would be basically this order filled. And then we have one more we can do. Well, we may as well do the level four red because then that will progress to level five next year, which would be enough for that order. So that's our three wine order tokens, that's fine. Uh, we have finished with the year end. Yep, we're finished with the year end, so we get to age everything. So these all age. We now have plenty of cellar space, that's great. Uh, no residual payments yet, unfortunate. But there we go. Uh, we are definitely down below seven now, so finally sorted out our hand problems. And we get to pick a new wake up. Uh, right, oh, well, uh, worker goes back, so neutral goes back. Our workers go back, and the AI goes back. So now we've got the choice of either nothing, a coin, or a point. Well, either way, I guess the point. We're not going to be using money for much else I don't believe at the moment. So we'll get ourselves one point. Uh, yep, okay. And we need to be figuring out what the AI is going to do. The AI is going to do nothing in summer. So place or move, but it's so it's a green summer action, but it does have the T for the Tuscany expansion, so that is of no use in the normal game which means we get free reign of everything to do in summer. Uh, we probably want to do it. don't want to do anything in summer, really. Uh, could... well, no, we can't. We don't really have anything to build. So we could gain a tour to gain some money. Uh, we don't have any summer visitors ready to play, so that's fine. Yeah, I think we're just going to pass summer straight away and go into winter. May as well grab ourselves another winter visitor. The Wine Technologist. Right, so basically pay a lot of money to do stuff with grapes and wines. Okay. Well, one thing we definitely want to do, hopefully, uh, depending on what the AI does, the AI is going to play Winter Visitors. Well, that's fine. We weren't going to go there. Well, actually, we could do. We could still go there and make up to two wines now with the supervisor and we'd get some money for it certainly uh, we get some points uh, no we wouldn't because we already made the sparkling wine that we're going to do anyway so that is of no use so fine in that case then let's go and uh, harvest a field, or harvest two fields, technically. So we get all those grapes again back into our uh, crush pad. So that and that. And then these two. So that's all that again. We can fill a wine order. And we could make up two more wine tokens. So sure. Let's, well, make up the three wine tokens now. So this one is definitely filled. Uh, this one we need to work on next, as do this one. So if we three make up the three wine tokens, and it's going to have to be a bunch of white wines, basically. Which means we need to pretty much yeah, put all of these into the various... So all the white grapes into the white wine cellar and that will fill those spots and that will have them maturing nicely ready to fill out this order and this order in coming turns so now we need to fill a wine order and it was going to be this one here so we have the sparkling wine and we have the level three uh, yeah, that's fine. We have the level 3 white wine there, so that's fine. And we get 6 points, uh, plus an extra 1 because of the, uh, the bonus spot, so that's 7. Oops. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Excellent. Okay. And we get 2 residual payments, uh, if we ever need money for anything, really. And that's that done with. 
and then we are done for the year so everything basically ages so reds go up wines go up we get workers back so there and the AI gets its one worker back didn't really do much uh, we are down at six so we've got hand size is fine we do get some residual payments now so we get two money and uh, we need to pick a new spot, so we may as well go for the, the one coin spot now. Which gives us four money if we need to do anything with. Uh, not really, no. Uh, no, I can't really see anything I want to build. We may as well just hold on to the money in case we can spend it on a card somehow to get extra points. Okay, so the AI is going to draw vineyard cards and give a tour. That's fine, we weren't going to bother with those. So if we go straight into winter, we could harvest again. We could fill out another order. And we could grab two more uh, wine orders. Yes, okay. So we'll pass and we'll go into winter. We'll grab ourselves another winter visitor, just in case. All players may pay one coin to train. Uh, that's a raise whatsoever. That's a bit of a wasted card. Never mind. So AI is going to make up to two wine tokens. Right. All right. That's not the worst spot to block off. I don't think. So we'll fill. A, we'll fill. A, well, no, actually, first of all, we'll draw some more wine orders, just in case. The ones we draw are of any use to us. We get two wine orders. Uh, there's a level six white. We could fill that one out. That's not too bad. And then more sparkling, which we could fill next year, maybe. Uh, right. So if we fill a wine order... Uh, we'll do this one here because it's the most points we can do at the moment. So it's one red and a level three white. So level five red, level three white. That's fine. That's that done. Gives us five points in total. So four plus the extra one. Two, three, four, five. So that is that one done with. Okay, which leaves us with one guy to do something with. And essentially we're going to get one order filled next year unless we get a visitor card that says otherwise so if we try and get this one filled that's going to be seven points which would be two three four five six seven uh, right which would be a draw so if we could fill this order and get a point from somewhere else possibly the supervisor because that would be make up to two wines and gain a point for each sparkling and we need a sparkling for this one okay and the white which we have plenty of sitting away in our cellar so let's harvest now with this guy and we'll harvest both our fields so we get all the grapes back into our crush pad Uh, this one would be a level 3 red, but it cannot be because it's already occupied, and the lower space is already occupied, so actually it would come down and fill out this space. So that's fine, not a problem. And we've used everyone up, so we'll pass for the final time. Uh, get guys back. And we should have, I think, one more residual income from that order we put in. Yeah, we should technically have one more, so... Now we're at three, that's fine. Get our payment. Uh, we are at, no, we're at eight cards, so we need to get rid of one of them. Um, the wine technologist, I think, is about as good as anyone. So short, he'll go out. AI guy comes back as well, which leaves us with uh, the only action we can only wake up action we can take for next year, that's fine. We don't get a bonus from that, that is also fine. The AI is going to, oops, draw a, if 
faded card, right, and play summer visitors, okay, well, we need to play a winter visitor, so that's fine, so we're going to pass, we'll come in and grab ourselves one more winter visitor just in case, take any action from a previous season without placing a worker, uh, right, okay, AI is going to harvest a field and pay to train. Uh, right, that doesn't affect us in any way, that's fine. Because now we can play Winter Visitors. So the Supervisor will allow us to make up to two uh, wines. And we basically only want to make up one wine, which is essentially the... Is that going to be enough? Four, three, and a two. Uh, that would be nine. So yeah, that would make up the sparkling wine we need, and we get a point for it. Excellent. And that is the supervisor done with, and I don't think there's anyone else we need to do. Uh, nope. Don't want to take another action. Nope, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, well technically we could actually play the manager, and so at least one field and get a point for it because if we sold this field, that's fine, we're not using it, so we get a point for it. Sure, why not? We'll take another action. Oh, we don't get the bonus, so no. There's no point doing that at all, so that's fine. So that was our supervisor played, and now with our final, well, yeah, pretty much our final worker, we will fulfill uh, this wine order, and spend the sparkling wine, and the white wine, get that done which gets us seven points so one two three four five six seven so six for the order plus a bonus one and yeah and we may as well pass so we have no more actions we want to do and we have successfully completed the game so if we pass now uh, this poor worker won't get used but that's fine uh, we are yeah we're over the um, the end limit where the AI has set its marker, so we have 21 points, so basically we win the game. Uh, that's not too bad at all, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so that was challenge number two, so basically now we go straight into challenge number three for the next game, and we go along and play that one, and see how that works. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll hopefully see you next time for challenge number three then.